What's going on, y'all? I'm sorry about the light, but uh, it's a little dark. Y'all probably like, whoa, this ain't junk removal. Whoa, this ain't a dumpster rental. But guess what? Little do many y'all know, I started out as a, a handyman, uh, rolling into the contractor world. But you know what? Did a lot of that growing up, and I decided to uh, switch gears and do something a little different. But anyway, today I'm going to show y'all how to install Champion 4 Max toilet. I see a lot of folks putting these off in their rental properties. They can flush a whole bucket of golf balls. But anyway, uh, I'm just going to give y'all a brief synopsis on how it works and what's going on and why I'm changing out the current toilet and how I got myself in this predicament. Because I usually don't volunteer these type of services, but uh, here we go. So, here we go. Current toilet. Old toilet. 1990 status. A lot of turds done been flushed down. This good toilet. It done put his job. It done put his time in. I put a good rotor root in there and with some clogging it up. But the problem is now is uh it's still not flushing, and I'm gonna show you. So yeah, it looks like it got a little juice. You know, it's gonna flush about five gallons of water. So when your toilet starts swirling like that, if you got one of them good floaties, it's not gonna go down. I guarantee you. And you're gonna be stuck using the good plunger, as you can see to your right. Uh this toilet is not clogged, and this and all the innards have been replaced, and I'll show you. I replaced the whole setup with one of them little kits, and uh, it's still not flushing. So that tells me one thing. If you look inside of there, you can see all the deposits, the calcium deposits from the hard water that's in this count. With that being said, we're going in. It's only a toilet. Y'all all use these things. If you look up under there, you see those little orange marks? Those, that's hard water marks. So what's happening is those little bitty holes is clogged up, and it's not allowing the water to come out at full force. So we're going to replace that toilet because it's not going to flush. and nothing you can do about it. It ain't worth the time to me, I don't think. So these good folks want me to change this toilet out, so I'm going to change the good toilet out. Uh, and we're going to put that good chapter 4 Max and all the first thing we're going to do is go outside and disconnect the water. Take up those two bolts. And then we're going to come over here. Take up the water supply line. That water supply valve is leaking. So i got to cut the water off from the whole outside to the whole house. The next thing, going to flush this toilet. Going to get all the water out, dump it out, and remove the toilet. And then we'll show you what the next step is. All right, good old Johnny Bobby's junk hauling. And we ain't hauling no junk. Look like we're hauling toilets and turds today. But all right, I'll show you in a minute how I go. All righty now. Uh, good step one, try to get as much water out the bowl as possible. And then obviously get the water out of this bowl. And we'll get this good folks plunger. And we're going to plunge it as much water out as possible. Because... Well, we got to get rid of the toilet. I'll cut the water off the house and then we're going to get to the next step but these are the parts so while we talk about this this is the toilet this is a seal for the bottom of the bowl i mean the top of the flush tank i'm going to put that on these are the bowls for i mean the the uh i can't even talk today this is for the actual toilet seat this is for the bottom to secure though these go here like that those go on the wax ring downstairs this is the actual wax ring, and this is the actual supply line. It's pretty simple. Uh, this one is caulked up on this linoleum that's been here since 1990 something, I guess, whenever this house was built. I just imagine because these floors are old. And uh, we're going to take it out, take that supply line off, and we're going to get to it. And we'll let you know what happened next. Uh-oh, got a problem, y'all. So check this out. This little bolt is stripped on the wax ring, sit on the wax ring. Uh, down in there, so uh, you know, this toilet is old, it done this time. So, uh, I'm just gonna get a hammer and crack the porcelain around it so I don't mix up my seal on the ground in case it is in some good. So, I had to go back to the stove and have to charge you folks some more good money. But anyway, uh, that's that. Let me go and crack it up for you. So, that's part two. I cracked it up, and that's that. That's the easy day. All right, toil it up. Wax ring look like it's in good shape to be so old. Probably never ever change. Who knows? Uh, next step is clean all this up. Get the wax ring up. 
put the new wax ring down, put the new toilet seat down. The hardest part is really getting this out of here without wasting water everywhere, in my opinion. And then uh, putting everything else back in place. But anyway, let me go and throw this wax ring on here, and then I'll show you how it looks once I put it on there. All right, if you look closer, those bolts that the uh those flange bolts that the taller is sitting on they got a groove where they can slide out of there that's why i didn't want to break that because if i would have jabbed it out of there i would have to replace this whole flange and uh i didn't want to do that so we gotta take a time and just slide it on out that's what that's all about all right y'all back to the show but anyway uh got that all cleaned up just good enough installed a wax ring so the wax ring installed, the bolts are installed right down there. All I gotta do now is put those bolts in those two holes, set it down, and let the wax ring do her good business. And then we'll go to the next step. Alrighty then, so the toilet is down. I sat on it, make sure it wasn't rocking around. You could put a level on it, but you know, the toilet really gotta be that level. It looks straight to me, as long as it hold my big butt up when I'm sitting on it, we're gonna be all right. But uh, if it wasn't, you can put shims under the bottom to help it seal it out. Now we're going to put them good bolts on down there, the screws on the top. Put the top on and put the water line on. And then we're going to be almost up out this thing. Waste the water all over the place trying to get the other toilet out. Like I said, that's the worst part. But anyway, we'll show you in a minute. All right, y'all. Uh, the toilet top is on. Nice and sturdy. Nice and sturdy. We can handle the butt sisters, as some folks would say. You can put some heavy lifters on this toilet. And uh, it's going to be all right. All I got to do is, uh, sorry about that. Put a couple more screws on there. Pop that on yonder. I'm going to put the other side on. Make sure it's good and tight. Moving around a little bit because I'm trying to get through. Hook the supply line. Put the toilet seat on. And uh, that's all, folks. And uh, I'll show you. High flush when it's all said and done, do our good leak checks. One minute, all right. So, we got the bowl on, she's filling up. I'm gonna check for leaks down here. I had to put extra a longer supply line on here because it's just a little taller, it's not leaking there, it's not leaking on there. And that seal they got on there, if it leaked from up under that little seal, which I doubt, it's very it's not gonna leak from up under there. So my bowl is filling up, clean up a little mess. First thing I'm going to do is uh, flush it. Because when I flush it, if that doggone uh, wax seal is leaking down there, it's going to leak. Let's see what she got. Uh-oh, she ain't got too much, huh? Not just yet. Maybe I ain't let it fill up high enough. But, uh... Alright, let's try that again. It does have to be full. So, it might not seem like a lot of pressure, but all the YouTube videos say you can flush like a whole toilet full of golf balls. But, uh, but getting it clogged is a big thing. Your tennis can't hardly clog it up. If they clog it up, they're acting a doggone fool. But, uh, anyway, that's that. Put the lid on, and we will capstone this good video. All right, y'all, the completed picture. Get out of there. It's like a super rush. You know what I mean? So, and the... It's a, you know, one of them quiet closing lids. Uh, it's elongated. And that is what it looks like. Installed nice and cleaned up. That's the Champion 4 Max. Johnny Bobby's junk hauling. I guess we back in Johnny Bobby's contracting handyman days. Uh, I don't usually do these kind of favors. But uh, sometimes you got to help a friend out. But I'm just old trash, man, y'all. Anyway, you can hit me up at uh, Johnny Bobby's junk hauling on a Google search. JoeAlf.com. And uh, you can reach us at 757-301-5060. And I just want to do this quick video because uh, a lot of people are confused how to put a toilet in. Uh, there's a million videos on YouTube. And there's actually one to show you exactly how to put this one in. It ain't science rockets, folks. But anyway, and I'm out.